<laughs> What's going on guys? My name is Rivas. Today we're in my studio. Just want to thank you guys for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be breaking down an emotional drop that I made. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe and like if you don't want anything to eat your baby. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay. Alright, so this is a quick preview. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys the drums first. This is what we have for the drums. Pretty much just going throughout the entire drop. Then I'll add this tonal on the second half. And it's just to add some variety to it. So what the drums are doing to the chords is I have the kick side chaining to the chords. So, for instance, whenever the kick hits, the chords duck down. So it creates this really cool rhythm. So I put the sidechain on the group. It's affecting all the instruments within this group. I don't have to individually sidechain each synth. So it's like... Okay, so let's get right into the chords. So for the chords, we have four main layers. We have this chorus. We have this saw that kind of sounds like an organ. And this is the main saw sound. Then we're layering it with this bass. have this um, transition sound in between the bass. I have this vocal that's just going out throughout. Let's see what other components. We have some slight effects that are in the background. And then this vocal. Say reverb automation on the end of it just to bring it out into the next part of the drop. What makes this drop really hit you in the fields is I would say how the chords are structured. So for instance we have the first chord which is a very open chord, the second chord which is kind of more of a sad chord, the third chord is another open chord and then you have some dissidence there, which is creating a little bit of resolve, but also maintaining that sadness. And at the end, this kind of just leads into the next progression, which is the same exact thing in the beginning. I feel like the chords should be telling a story and each chord can change the, the way that the story is told. So you can just start with one chord and then figure out where you want that energy to go for the next chord. I'm not like, I'm not thinking that needs to be a certain chord progression. I'm literally just, I'm doing it by feel and what I think sounds good. So make sure to experiment with what you think sounds good. And I also have this thing in the background, which is just consistently looping. Okay, we have uh, this atmospheric melody. which gives the drop some space. We have this piano loop that I found. I put an auto pan on it, which gives it that kind of tremolo feeling. And lastly, we have this melodic element.
Okay. How do I get all this cat hair on me? Okay, so that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to like and comment a video that you would like. If you guys have any suggestions or any things that you guys want me to do, like a challenge or breakdown of a certain genre, whatever. Leave it in the comments below and I can get to it. I also want to announce that I'll be giving out some free packs from my website that should be live at the end of this week where I'll be offering loops, MIDI, samples, literally from breakdowns like what you just saw. Also where you can hire me for my production services. So stay tuned for that announcement. I hope you got something out of this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.